Now, it's heartwarming Eve again, and instead of having a party with friends and family, every pony in Ponyville was invited to a major party at Twilight Sparkle's castle. A very exciting event. Cecil. Almost Bunny? as exciting <laughs> as Bunny. going to the Grand Gallop in Dalla. Ponies from all over Equestria have been waiting to get inside the castle and see what it's like and hobnob with royalty. So every pony was excited to come out and sing and enjoy games and laughter and presents and decorating and all the stuff that makes the holidays great. But it feels like Hearts Warming Eve is coming earlier every year. Last year the stores in Canada lot were selling hearts warming decorations alongside nightmare night decorations. This year the weather still feels unseasonably warm, almost summer like, and yet we're supposed to be in winter. Every pony was out celebrating. Every pony that is except for Starlight Glimmer who feels that this is just a big commercial holiday and it's used to have presents and sing songs and be silly and it really doesn't have any emotional heart to it. And I can see where she's coming from. Sometimes it can feel like you're just another day of the year where you're getting stuff. But actually, Heartswarming Eve is about spending time with friends and family, not about getting presents and being silly. And, you know, ponies can't work all the time. They need a little time off to play and enjoy life, too. And that's something Starlight needed reminding of. And what better way to remind her of that than Twilight Sparkle sitting down with her in spite and reading the classic novel, the story that has been told and retold by pony performance troops on stage throughout the Equestria in different variants of the story. The story of a miserly old mare by the name of Snowfall Frost who wanted to get rid of Heartswarming Eve because she didn't understand the love and family of the holiday and saw it as a big commercial time for just accumulating stuff and being ridiculous and neglecting productive activities that would help better Equestria. A noble goal, but one that oversees the concept of relaxing and having fun and enjoying life. You can't be working constantly to better things. With the thought of getting rid of the holiday by erasing it from the memory of the public, Snowfall attempted to perform some kind of spell through the alchemy she'd been studying. This awakened the free spirits of heartswarming, past, present, and future. These free spirits approached Snowfall one at a time and showed her her past, showed her the true meaning as to why ponies exchange presents, that exchanging presence is about how you feel about other ponies and not about materialization. And showed her the future where the holiday no longer exists and the window does have buried all of Equestria under a deep snow. Realizing her wicked ways, Snowfall repents and joins the party, giving out gifts to her friends, and trying to make apologies for all of the things that she's done wrong. 
Now, many pony performers have put on this particular play with various subtle variants differentiating the story in different directions. There's been lots of alterations to the narrative over many years, some telling it better than others. I think Twilight did a pretty good job. She even got into the spirit of Finns and started doing voices, even though she'll never admit it. I have seen better performances of this on stage, but this wasn't the worst one either. It was pretty decent and I could sit down with Twilight and hear her read the story again and again. Still, my favorite rendition of this play was one that I saw on Bridal Way one time being performed with a combination of ponies and puppets. It was very funny and very well done and very enjoyable. <laughs> After hearing Twilight read the story Monsoon. to Don't Starlight, uh -huh. Starlight and Boomer so. went out and returned to the party, joining Twilight and her friends and all of the other local ponies of Ponyville and Tantalot and other parts of Equestria who had all shown up to celebrate the holiday together. It was a lot of fun celebrating and we walked away with a lot of good memories made. After the holidays, it'll be back to life as normal, and I'll continue following Twilight and her friends around Equestria, going on adventures with them, and learning little stories from them. Until that time, comes thank you for listening.